students, welcome to class. Today we have a presenter, her name is Cassie King. She had to choose from any of the topics on this list and do a presentation and she decided to choose silk. The catch is though that the presentation had to be sarcastic. She had to use sarcasm. So let's see how well she does. Get your little cardboards ready, get your vegan markers ready, and let's go and evaluate this and see how she does. Milk comes from boiling animals alive? Well, wait, yeah, what? what? Oh my goodness, did you see that? Okay, so did you know that silk comes from boiling animals alive? Well, I'm giving her a check mark right away because she got right to the point. I mean, there, there's there's nothing to there, there's there's nothing to think about here about whether it's good or bad. She's just telling you right away. These poor little insects were boiled alive. How horrific! Did you know silk comes from boiling animals alive? Yep, caterpillars, but not the kind that become butterflies. These caterpillars build silk cocoons and then emerge as moths. But when they emerge, they destroy their precious silk cocoons. So silk producers have developed a brilliant solution. Just don't let the bugs escape. Kill them instead. My goodness, that is some kind of a solution. And yes, she is using sarcasm. Let's go back and watch this again. So make sure you guys understood. So these are not butterflies, these are moths. Did you know silk comes from boiling animals alive? Yep. So silk is like the long kind of stringy stuff that you use for scarves or ties or different pieces of fabric. So don't buy silk, check the label. Check the label, check the label, if it's vegan, it's okay. Check the label, check the label, if it's vegan, it's okay. Always check the label. If it says something like polyester or acrylic, then you know it is usually made from recycled fabric like or, or recycled plastic, so that's good. Don't buy silk. All right, thank you, Cassie. So far, this is very interesting. Caterpillars, but not the kind that become butterflies. These caterpillars build silk cocoons and then emerge as moths. But when they emerge, they destroy their precious silk cocoons. So silk producers have developed a brilliant solution. Just don't let the bugs escape. Kill them instead by boiling or baking them. Just oh my goodness. Boiling just like potatoes. No. There are sentient beings inside these little pods and, and they're going to be murdered. Imagine being boiled alive. It's not the same as a potato. So she's doing great with her sarcasm. She gets another check mark here. Because of course we know that plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. So it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart. You know where to start. So sing this song and be vegan from now on. It's okay to eat potatoes. Oof. They destroy their precious silk cocoons. So silk producers have developed a brilliant solution. Just don't let the bugs escape. Kill them instead Aww. by boiling or baking them, just like potatoes. And that will kill the animal inside while preserving what really matters, the silk. But Excellent sarcasm. Another check mark for you, Cassie. They do let some silkworms survive. In order to continue breeding, silk producers use selective breeding just like other farmers. Only the healthiest moths are allowed to reach maturity and mate, and any unhealthy eggs they lay are burned. <sighs> Can you imagine having your baby being burned? Absolutely horrific horrible. Cassie, you're doing a great job of explaining this. Lots of burning in the silk industry. When silkworms are born, they start out one eighth of an inch in size, just itty bitty babies. But they quickly increase their weight 10,000 times, all by eating leaves. Did you catch that? They increase their weight 10,000 times just by eating leaves. Just by eating vegan foods, they become so big and strong. Which means lots of fiber, so later they can spin out a fibrous thread and glue it all together with secretion from their salivary glands. No wonder silk is so soft. It's made out of spit. And it's made out of spit. Right. Good, excellent point, Cassie. So far, you have four check marks. Scientists have figured out that if you feed silkworms fluorescent dyes, it will turn them and their spit cocoons different colors. Sure, the dyes might be poisonous for them to consume, but it saves time dyeing the silk later. And efficiency is more important than ethics. Oh my goodness, Cassie, great job you're doing here. Efficiency, she says efficiency is more important than ethics. 
And of course, because this is opposite day and this is sarcasm, she means the opposite. So of course, ethics are what matter. We shouldn't be putting these dyes inside of these innocent animals. I mean, this is just awful. Let's look at that again, see what they do. They increase their weight 10,000 times, all by eating leaves, which means lots of fiber, so later they can spin out a fibrous thread and glue it all together with secretion from their salivary glands. No wonder silk is so soft. It's made out of spit, and scientists have figured out that if you feed silkworms fluorescent dyes, it will turn them and their spit cocoons different colors. That's just not right. Sure, the the dyes might be poisonous for them to consume, but it saves time dyeing the silk later. And efficiency is more important than ethics. The silk industry is so efficient. Another check mark for you, Cassie. You're doing great. In India, hundreds of thousands of children who would otherwise just be playing games or going to school instead get to work in silk production factories, often for 10 to 12 hour work days. Thank you, Cassie, for pointing that out, that there's child labor involved in this. Teaching children at a young age to be cruel to animals. It's not okay. What a hands-on way to learn about science. Oh. More check marks, Cassie. Sometimes they even burn their hands while unraveling silk from these boiling cocoons or cut their fingers. Oh my goodness, these poor kids. They should be in school. Fingers while twisting the thread. Oh my gosh. Poor sweetie. But don't worry, that doesn't mess up the silk. A single thread of... Don't worry, that doesn't mess up the silk. Oh, Cassie, the sarcasm. Silk is stronger than the equivalent amount of steel. And that's why the military is currently experimenting with using silk to create bulletproof skin. Leave animals alone. Animals should have nothing to do with uniforms for the army. Shouldn't be killing these poor little insects and turning them into outfits. They are not clothes. They are sentient beings. They have a right to live. Thank you for pointing all of this out, Cassie. And I really trust the values of the military. <laughs> Amount of steel. And that's why the military is currently experimenting with using silk to create bulletproof skin. And I really trust the values of the military. I really trust the values of the military. Okay, yeah. The values of war instead of peace. Is that what you're referring to? Cassie, this is a really unique presentation, I have to say. There are some new synthetic silks that are also stronger than steel, but we have to make those ourselves. And it's easier to steal things. And it'll... <laughs> oh, but we'd have to make them ourselves. It's easier to just steal. Oh, Cassie. God. Values of the military. There are some new synthetic silks that are also stronger than steel, but we have to make those ourselves and it's easier to steal things. And it only takes 3,000 cocoons to produce a pound of silk. 3,000 cocoons to produce one pound of silk. This is great, you're giving us a lot of factual information. Thank you. That's only 3,000 worms killed. Only 700 billion a year. 700 billion a year. 700 billion, billion innocent souls who never did a single thing wrong who just have to be murdered just for a scarf, a vest, a necktie. This is the kind of society we have. Don't hurt animals. Leave animals the fuck alone. Cassie, you're doing great. You know, worms can't even scream. So if you really want... Worms can't scream, so... And she leaves it there. As if implying that because they can't scream, we don't care. So imagine if your baby was born without vocal cords and you would say to yourself, well, she's not screaming, so I guess she's fine. Meanwhile, she's obviously in a lot of distress and suffering. You just can't hear her scream. You're going to be like, oh, well, you know, I don't hear her scream, so she's probably fine. 
It's like what same reason that people give about fish. You know, fish can't scream as they're coming out of the water because they don't have vocal cords. But we obviously know they don't want to come out of the water. They don't want to have a hook in their mouth. Imagine how painful that is. Fish want to live, and they have a right to live, and we have to leave them alone in the oceans. We should eat other things, and we shouldn't be buying silk. Great presentation, Cassie. Not to err on the side of being ethical, you can buy imitation silk. The most common- You can buy imitation silk, good. Rayon, very good, excellent. I love how you gave an alternative there. I have some rayon. I think this might actually be made out of rayon. The kind is rayon, which is made out of plant cellulose, but- Just made out of plants, good job. Uh oh, I heard a but. That means the sarcasm is coming now. That's boring. <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> oh, Cassie. Oh my god. She's too funny. Err on the side of being ethical. You can buy imitation silk. The most common kind is rayon, which is made out of plant cellulose. But that's boring. I would rather wear genuine worm spit. <laughs> oh gosh. Very talented girl. And support a multi billion dollar industry that exploits children and animals. <laughs> Plus, a study from within the fashion industry found that silk is the second most environmentally damaging material, only after leather. Wow, I didn't know that. Did you guys hear that? Exploits children and animals. Plus, a study from within the fashion industry found that silk is the second most environmentally damaging material, only after leather. So that's pretty cool. I say let the worms burn. <sighs> Ouch. So I like the fact that she brought up leather as well. Vegans don't wear leather. We don't pay somebody to rip the skin off another being. And she says, I say, let the word worm sperm. It's so hard for me to hear you say this, but I know you are an ethical vegan and I know you are being sarcastic. Ugh. And let me know what cool, cruel products you want me to wear. Right, let's go back. I to wear genuine worm spit and support a multi billion dollar industry that exploits children and animals. Plus, a study from within the fashion industry found that silk is the second most environmentally damaging material Excellent. only after leather. So that's pretty cool. I say let the worms burn. And let me know what cool, cruel products you want me to review next. That sums it up. It's not fashion, it's violence. I'll give you another check mark for that. My goodness, this is such a great, great uh, presentation today. I am giving you an A+. Plus. I don't know what else I could possibly give you. It's just very well done. Thank you so much for your efforts. Good job. Um, what should I write at the bottom? I have written A plus and I gave you a smile. I guess I'll write good work. Good work, Cassie. Good work, my dear. Very proud of you. I can't wait to see some more of your presentations. There you go. You deserve it. Thank you to everybody who participated. Don't forget, if you want to uh, send me anything at all, you can send it to me at that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. I try to respond to as many people as I can. That's my Instagram. And uh, subscribe also to this channel. Subscribe. Whink. Do you see a notification bell? After you subscribe, you see down there there's a subscribe button? Tap that. And then there's a notification bell. So tap that as well. That way you won't miss any of Cassie's future presentations and presentations from many others here on YouTube. Thanks everyone for being here. And remember, last but not least, animals are not objects to be used by us. Okay, and we should leave animals the fuck alone. Coming up on screen are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Click on those. Be curious, look around that vegan teacher site. Back in the archives, there's me singing when I used to look different. You can laugh at me if you want to. Have a look at those videos and also have a look at Anything else that's new here where I talk about different creators who are evil people who hurt animals and I also talk about people who are doing great. And if you want, you can also see me talking about different food uh, people like chefs and so on. Thank you for being here and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to give yourself a big hug. Give yourself a big hug, okay? Because I know you're trying. And you should always give yourself a hug because you are it. You are the person who's always going to be there. So cheer yourself on. You know, seriously. You know, people come and go in our lives. Sometimes it can break our hearts, but we will always be there. So treat yourself really well. Eat well, 
Okay, eat well, make sure you get sleep, get fresh air, always be around trees, go out in nature, even if it's just for five minutes a day, just run around your block, just move. Move and learn to love yourself and love the animals. And if you don't love them, at least understand that they have a right to live, just like you do. Okay, I know you're trying your best. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.